What's up, parkour nerds? Coach Renee, Coach Tom, and we are here today to take a look at an achievement by the King of Kongs. We're talking about Lord Travis Verkey because we're in Canada right now and we honor the British monarchy. <laughs> so we're talking about Lord Travis Verkey, the King of Kongs, who just Konged the Tampa Stride. It's called the Tampa Stride because for a long time, people thought that that's the only move <laughs> that you could do there. But make no mistake, there are other moves you can do in parkour other than strides. We're looking at Travis's Kong analysis. We don't actually know how far this sucker is. We just kind of have a, yeah, I want to hold that. I walked out 12 paces when I went to Tampa with you. <laughs> and couldn't even do the freaking stride. I walked out to 12 paces because I wanted to start training my running prees. Dude. 12 paces works out to about 11 and a half feet. If you actually know the dimensions of the gap, hit us up in the comments, let us know so we can find out for real. Cause some people might want to come here and try this thing. So this is IMAX. IMAX gap is, what is it, eight feet? Yeah, Between? it's just eight in the middle. Eight feet, you know, measured inside edge. And like, this looks like a reasonable Kong that like, you know, a good athlete can, can hit, but then it's like, I gotta go all the way back to here to what Verky just did. That's incredible. But I can't even fit it you in. Can't fit I it can't in even the... fit it in the screen. That's how big it is. The Tampa Stride is at height. It's over stairs, it's at height. It's the walls are actually quite slippery. There's a lot of factors that are going into the that Kong that makes it very difficult to do. And it's not just the size, but the other dimensions of it, right? How high it is off of the ground or how slippery the walls are. So just looking at this now, this is such a massive gap. Like the Kong to cat seems like a reasonable ask, but getting my feet to the top of the wall seems totally crazy. So he does take a really big approach going into the Kong. And in fact, we almost don't even have enough room to show you here, but basically he does a fly-in and the fly-in, the way a fly-in works is you're not actually taking like really real sprinting strides yet. So you're kind of, he grabs his shorts, he comes up and then he hits those really good strides. The amount of really good strides he takes is eight and that includes the split step takeoff. So I'm going to try to demonstrate what this looks like here. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, five, five. Something like that. Ah, yes! Fucker. Yes! Oh. In addition to having a really long run up, there are two things that he does excellently. The first is when he's running, he actually has pretty good arm mechanics. He's not in a full sprinting position, but he does have bent arms. And you'll notice actually when you watch a lot of elite athletes do Kongs, they kind of are more like gymnasticky this way but he actually has some really good arm mechanics going there and his shoulders are relaxed, his face is even really relaxed and it's staying in place as he's running forward. The second thing that he does really well is as he actually gets to this part of the Kong where he's about to do his three-step approach, he doesn't cross his arms in front, which is a big mistake that a lot of people do and it, it cuts some of your momentum from your run-up when you're trying to do a Kong. Instead, he just smoothly hits into that set, which sets him up for a very powerful takeoff. Following his approach, he moves into his takeoff, which has a surprisingly long split step takeoff. So he comes into that with quite a bit of distance between his final two steps. However, the key here is his rear leg is loaded so that it can really push off get full extension through the ground and it pushes his body in the opposite direction that he's applying the force. Typically on shorter approaches, 
your feet would be much closer together, but because he has so much speed from that fly in plus the eight steps on his approach, the split step is much longer and it allows him to push off really quite hard. He's also doing this thing with his foot that I don't do when I Kong, and I know you do this, as well as a bunch of other people that are really good at Kongs. We've had some talks about it recently and I don't know what to make of it, but I am starting to think that it makes sense and it's something that I wanna to try to do, is he's turning his foot in. So his lead foot internally rotates, so it kind of turns inward, and then it almost like looks like a valgus position where the knees are coming together. But my hypothesis is that the lead foot turning in allows him to block and push his hips up. But the other thing is it tilts hips to the side, which I think allows the athlete to stay much lower relative to the wall that they're conging or the railing or whatever surface that they're conging. So having their hips to the side a little bit on takeoff gives them just like a little bit easier way to get close to the wall and push off very aggressively. You mean so like you don't smash your knee into the wall? Yeah. Ah! Following that takeoff, he moves into the actual Kong where he's diving very close to the wall. So his chest is quite close to the wall, which allows him to have a bent arm position. And that ultimately gives him the aggressive push he needs to get essentially a double jump that a Kong does for you. Not only is he getting the power of the jump from the ground, but he's able to jump off of his arms by having that low position on takeoff. After he launches himself through with a Kong, he ends up in this very tucked position. So his knees come all the way into his chest. And it's unsurprising that the man who's so good at Kong gainers, he's done Kong double gainer, it's incredible that he's able to get such a tight tuck on his regular Kong. When Verky lands the Kong, he is as bottomed out as you could be bottomed out. And speaking of the mobility he had to tuck earlier, it's the same thing. You can see like my back is rounded here. You either got ankles or you got hips. He's got both. He's got both of those going on. Those ankles are flexed, the hips are flexed, his back is straight, and then he's able to <coughs> stand up. So when he dropped this bomb on Instagram, he put in the caption that this is the biggest Kong Pre he's ever done. But I think you and I can both agree that this is probably the biggest Kong Pre that anyone's ever done, at least outside. That we know of. There might be some like hidden beasts in Spain or something like that that's done like a 13 foot Kong. Spain. Spain, yeah. I don't know. I just think of Spain as having this like everybody trains parkour there. So I'm sure there's, there's likely to be some underground beast that nobody's ever heard of. You're probably right. <laughs> so there's a couple other qualities to this Kong that probably assisted in allowing him to achieve it. The height of the wall. So the height of the wall allows him to get a little bit extra jump. If it's a little bit lower, it's gonna be significantly harder to actually Kong. He also didn't have to start in a washroom and go around the corner to get that fly in. So, so that spot itself has plenty of space to run up. He's also doing it in Florida where the temperature is really great right now. And it's not cold English or Canadian weather. Weather plays a factor. I could feel it in my joints a lot more when I'm landing in the cold than when it's summertime. So we've just praised Lord Verky over this ridiculous Kong, but is there anything that you think he could do better? I think the only thing that we saw on the tape that we both agreed on was, so we got that fly in and then we got that eight step of like solid, eight step, eight stride, eight solid stride sprint into the Kong itself. He could probably do more than, like I've, I've seen people do more than a solid eight. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've set this up in the gym. We've seen other videos of, of people hitting big Kongs and they, they certainly can do more than a solid eight. So he's using that bit of fly in. I don't know if he's spotting or counting his steps. I think we can both agree that that is probably something that if he applied, he might be able to Kong even further. Nailing down an approach for a Kong is very difficult. You need to be, you need to be aware of the spacing. You might not be consciously aware of the number of steps you're taking, but if you do work on 
your step counting, you can often Kong further or, or figure out your approach much faster without the little stutters. I think he probably could Kong farther than that distance. But what's what I was actually just thinking about was, I wonder if the double Kong is gonna happen now. I mean, Damn. <laughs> so in theory, a double Kong will allow you to travel further because you don't have to fight to bring your hips back down. You can just throw them up and then continue traveling. And I think we saw this with the old school Toby double Kong. He did the Kong Classic. pre first and like barely got it. And then he was able to soar over with the double Kong where he just launched his hips over. I think the double Kong is possible at the Tampa Stride. Now that you're saying it, definitely. Someone's gonna do it. All right, I have to admit that I actually wasn't paying a lot of attention to Verky until like quite recently. It's only been like a few months. Like I was following him, but I didn't really know how good he was. And this is just like more solidifying. Like that was an incredible feat that we just discussed at length. <laughs> and I just want to say that it's not too late. Make sure you give him a follow so you can see as he's going to be, I'm sure, doing more and more incredible things. It's also not too late to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more breakdowns like this because we're doing this type of thing all the time. So please hit us with a comment if you think there is anything that we missed in this video or if you would to recommend something else for us to break down. Hit that like button, share this with a friend, and we will see you next time.